evaluating one variable expressions. To evaluate one variable expressions, find the variable and substitute a number for that variable. Then you need to perform the arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, and so on. Let's take a look at some examples here. Here it says x is 24. So the one variable, we only have one variable in this expression, 2x plus 6. Now x, we know that it is 24. So we can write 2, then instead of x, substitute 24. Then plus 6. Now 2 times 24, it is 48. Plus 6, the answer is 54. So the answer here is 54. Next one, x is negative 5 this time. So 3x plus negative 6 is, so x is here, 3. Then instead of x, just write negative 5. But remember that 3x means 3 times x. So it is 3 times negative 5 plus negative 6. Now, 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Plus negative 6 is actually negative 6 or minus 6 equals to negative 21. So the answer here is negative 21. Next one, x is negative 3. So here we have x. So let's just write everything else. 6, 5 times negative 3 plus 3 is, now 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. So it is 6, negative 15 plus 3 equals to negative 15 plus 3 is negative. So order of operations means that just do the parentheses first. Negative 15 plus 3 is negative 12. 6 times negative 12 is negative 72. Let's take a look at the next example. Again, here is x is 24. Now we want to solve this one. Negative 3 is just negative 3 plus x over 6. x is 24. So 24 over 6 is, so negative 3 is just negative 3 plus 24 divided by 6 is 4. Negative 3 plus 4 is 1. So the answer is 1. Next one. X is 3 this time. X is 3. So negative, so just write it here, negative 15 over 3 minus 7 plus, again we have x here. So plus 5 times 3. Negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5. Minus negative 7, minus 7, then plus 15. So negative 5 minus 7 is negative 12. Plus 15 is just 3. Next one. Here x is 4. So 8 or negative 8 or minus 8 over 4. Minus 7 plus 3 times 4. Again, negative 8 over 4 is negative 2. Minus 7 plus 3 times 4 is 12. So negative 2 minus 7 is negative 9, plus 12 is 3. So here, the answer is 3.